Hey everybody, welcome back to Midland Outdoors. Let's take a look at Taurus's new subcompact. It is the PT111 G2 Millennium 9mm. First of all, as always, we want to check make sure this weapon is safe before we dive any deeper. All right, the chamber's locked back. We have a nice yellow following in the magazine, and uh, that shows us that everything is clear and we are dealing with an empty and safe handgun. All right, so let's go ahead. I'm going to pocket the gun real quick for a moment. I want to take a look first at the magazines. Um, they are metal all the way up to the feed lips, uh, and then they have a plastic pinky extension. They hold 12 rounds. Um, the only thing I don't really like about them, and it'll break in over time, is they are very, very, very stiff. So to load the 11th or 12th round is very stiff. Uh, so let's jump over to the gun. Let's insert the magazine again. Still same empty. <clears throat> the pinky extension grip combined with these really rough textures here provide a really solid purchase on the gun. And, uh, and I'm a big fan of that. It's also got thumb wells for both right and left-handed shooters, which people like me, that's a big plus as well. So we have great serrations on the back of this frame uh, that really allow you to get a good grip on there. We have, of course, our slide release lever, and then we have our manual safety on the slide. Now, um, one thing that we also have is the trigger safety on the trigger paddle itself which is similar to a Glock or something of that nature. However, unlike Glocks or striker fire pistols, this is a single action, double action pistol. So you can, and remember we're still dealing with a clean gun, single action, and then you can keep firing afterwards. So, and that should hopefully ignite the round or we need to clear it and swap to a fresh magazine. Um, but anyway, let's take a look and uh, see how the performance is. All right, so we've got a couple magazines loaded up with our typical test ammunition, Tula 115 grain, 9 millimeter ammo. So, first I'd like to check and see the accuracy of this bad boy. So not a bad little grouping. Got it mostly all around in here. I threw the very first one and then one later on down the road. But <clears throat> that's a pretty good group. So now with this target, I wanna take our other magazine and pull it from concealment and just see how fast and accurate we can get rounds on, on target. Draw. All right, that was 10 rounds. Let's see if they're all on target. So it looks like we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All ten on target from a draw position. Uh, I will say, <clears throat> I haven't practiced with this gun much, uh, pulling from a holster position, but I have it currently in my sticky holster at about my four o'clock here. And uh, the rough grip texture on the frame here really snagged on the underside of my shirt. So. I would recommend definitely making sure you pull up, get a pretty good grip on your shirt and pull up and out so that you can draw this uh, weapon effectively. Overall, I think it's an incredible platform. The price is absolutely right. I've seen them as low as $200 in stores before. Um, it's very easy to shoot single action or double action. I think it's a hell of a value and I highly suggest going out and picking up one today. Thank you for watching Midland Outdoors. I'm Andy and we'll catch you next time.